Well, let's pitch that over there. See what's right there. But a dude fish on their dock, man, he caught, he was catching them uh, bluegill on uh, red worms. And all I brought was nightcrawler. Oh well, he gave me, uh, let's see, three live ones and one, uh, one dead one. Oh, there's one, there's one. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh, on the dock runner. That's a monster. There we go. I'll pinch off a little piece there. Try not to drop them in the water. Well, this thing's wiggly. That's good. I think these are my older ones. Like I said, I just bought a new container. I had the old one in my fridge. The guy next to me on the other dock over there is tearing them up. Got that, that worm rigged up. Going to put one on this dropper rig right here. This right here is a kale hook. Just going to thread it on there. Just like so. There we go. Okay. I think this is a new one here. Primo Canadian Crawlers. I don't know if this is the old one or the new one. I think it's the new one. I don't know. I should have marked it. I'm losing my mind. Marked with a sharpie or something. They don't put no doggone expiration date on the night crawlers. Alright. What am I doing here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Alright, I'll throw out this one first. The dropper rig. I'm kind of excited. I haven't fished out here for a long time. I think I'm gonna catch a big old, big old flathead tonight, or channel maybe, or wiper, or drum. Loosen that drag when you're fishing more than one. Well, shoot, anytime you're fishing on a dock like this. Fish will snatch you right off the dock in the blink of an eye. There we go. Let's put the cooler up here. Raise it up a little bit. There we go. Here's my rod holder. Well, shoot. Maybe it's on that sunlight break right where the sun and shade is. Let me throw over there. Come on now. I gotta catch my first fish on the on the I gotta break this rod in on its first fish. So far I've fished with it twice and nothing. Come on now. Give it a bite. It's gonna bite. Hit it again. Come on, sucker. He's on he's on top. Oh, got him. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. That's a world record. Small, large. I caught one smaller than this. <laughs> Down in Wichita, I caught one smaller than this. <laughs> There's a watershed down there. Oh, uh, what's that road? It's like uh, 
green witch and uh, way south there's a, a Whole Foods market and across the street is like a PJ Chang's spaghetti factory and there's a big pond right there it's public fishing they got white perch in there those invasive white perch oh, yeah. I caught a largemouth and my dad caught one actually about three inches long <laughs> two and a half inches long a little, little ice fishing jig yeah, they got white perch in there. They have no signs up. Well, I don't even know if the Department of Fishing Game even knows they're in there. You think they'd post some signs that say, you got to pull those out, but probably don't care in a little water shit like that. But I, I figured they probably got in there from uh, El Dorado. Somebody got some bait and stuff, dumped them in there. Well, let's pitch out over there. See what's right there. Right, a dude fish on their dock, man. He caught, he was catching them uh, bluegill on uh, red worms, and all I brought was nightcrawler. Oh well, he gave me, uh, see, three live ones and one, uh, one dead one. Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh, on the dock runner. That's a monster. Trying to drag a little bit. Monster gill. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Look in there. On the dock runner. Ugly stick. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, that's a good hook, too. You didn't swallow it. That's a big one. Man, that's going to be nice. Yeah. I'm going to flip my bucket upside down just in case I drop it. Let's grab this sucker. Let's grab the sucker. There he is. Look at that. That's a pretty fish. That's a big one, man. Oh, he about shook that hook. That thing was getting ready to... That hole in there in this deal is... All wallered out. There he is. There's the bait. Some more bait. Don't drop them in the water. Yeah, I got three live ones. Mine's the biggest one. There we go. Undo one wrap of this. Make it a little easier. You know, I just bought that new basket. I had one a long time ago. It got all tore up. Well, I got plenty of night crawlers, so there's hardly anything left on that. So let's put on a new night crawler feed the fish while we're at it. Right. Frozen water. I think these are the old night crawlers, I think. I'm gonna hook it Richard Jean style. Just right through the right through the tip. I'm going to cut it back a little ways, not put the whole thing on there. Remember, he's fishing there in Tennessee where the fish is so doggone honey, hungry, they'll suck in a whole worm, even a little bluegill. Well, my hands are looking a lot better with that cream medication ointment. Anyhow, let's get some more. I got the big rods rigged up right up here in my truck. I don't know if you can see that. I got I brought a bunch of poles because I want to make sure if I drive 35 miles one way and burn all that gas, that I bring most of my arsenal. Well, I caught that one over here. 
Well, this is going to be my first attempt at a night video. We'll see. I brought a a hyper power or what a hyper tech light from Walmart. I saw on uh, fishing stuff YouTube channel. He recommended that. Uh, he gets plenty of views. He don't need a. He does not need a shout out from me, but it's pretty funny. Has some good uh, information, projects, ideas. Yeah, a little bit. I'll break out that uh, the little light I got. It's about that big. It has a little uh, kickstand on the back of it. If I catch one, I can put it up on the dock behind me and turn it on. And hopefully, it lights up enough. Oh, there's one. There it is. Bluegill. Now see, I caught that one when I wasn't paying attention. Because I just let it sit still. You had time to eat it enough. Whoa, sucker. Now, did somebody tell me why they call these bluegill? Anybody, tell me why these are called bluegill. Oh, there he goes. He earned his freedom. He shot right out of my hand. He had his eyelids open. He saw that water. When I approached the water, he squirted, he jumped right out of my hand. Wait, fish don't have eyelids. Nonetheless, he's free. Come on, bluegill. Come on. Well, where did they go? Right over there. Oh, there's one. I had a bite. He's got it. Oh, I got him. Oh, oh, oh he jumped. <laughs> you see that? There it is. That's a nice one. That's a beauty. Come on, you turn the right way. Yeah, check the camera. Wipey, wipey. It's coming in the basket. You're gonna catch some flathead or big channel tonight. Maybe even a wiper. Oh, I saw it twitch. The line twitched. That right there is a female. Oh, shake that water off. About the smallest one I caught. That's all right. I'm going to save up some cut bait. Hold still, hold still, hold still. Man. Okay. Yep, that's another job for the players. No, 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 players, man. Bam. Kapow. Boom. No, 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 players, man. But here's what I was talking about. Hyper tough lot light I bought at a Walmart fishing stuff the YouTube channel fishing stuff so I got it set up but uh, to turn that on when the fish is biting I'm gonna have to run over here turn the light on turn the, the video on on the phone have this running it's gonna be I've never done night 
filming before, it's not easy. Actually, a lot of this YouTube stuff, you have no idea. Well, some people do, but there's a lot, a lot that goes into it. A lot more than most people, most people know or realize. So one thing is just go out and fish with the GoPro step, step to your chest, but there's editing and blah, blah, blah. If you do night fishing stuff, it's even more complicated. Oh, I rigged this up for, uh, well, if anything busted, uh, if any fish start busting the top water, you know, bait on the top. Actually, I saw a bass jump over there about half an hour ago, right by the bank. Circle hook there, nine knot, I think, or something like that. That's a that's a knocker rig. Sinker, bead hook. Sinker, bead hook. All right. Hold still, bastards. Hold still. Get a nice big one. Oh, you look good. Oh, you look. You don't want. Oh, you don't want to go out there, but you're going to. The big old flat is going to get you. All right. I'm going to hook it. Probably right there if I can get the hook to go through. Get a scale on your hook, take it off of there. There we go. That one's hooked. Ready to go. There we go. Boy, that sounded good. I think this reel needs a little oil. Or something? Need something. Click her on. No, no, no. Don't roll the wrong damn way. There. Okay, let's bait up another one. I'm going to throw another one out, get them all out there. Then we'll be waiting for big old cat. Always oh, phone drag. Oh, that sucker swallowed it. Well, not real bad. Who's that a job for? No, 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 players, man. Get the worm out of the way, bring it up the hook. The hook's down in there. This one's gonna be cut bait, pretty sure it's it's down there a ways. See this is what I was talking about when I keep on having things tangle tangle up all the time. Okay, let's get that one in the in the basket. Oh, see if it lives or not. Brand 
brand new basket. I just just bought that damn spider. Just bought that fish basket today at Walmart. Well, I just saw, oh, oh, there's a bass right there. You see that? What in the world? He stuck his freaking head out of the water. I thought it was a turtle at first and it shook and then he jumped. Oh, I think he's hooked. Or he's choking on something. He's like floundering over there. That's weird. I wonder what's wrong with him. I don't know if you can see it. It's right by that tree that's in the water. That bass is just like, I wonder if he's choking on something. That's weird. I saw him jumping over there about, oh, there he goes. He's flopping around. I saw him jumping about 40 minutes ago, half an hour ago. Yeah, look at that. I can't see. I think he might have something stuck in his mouth. He's trying to shake it out of his mouth. What in the world? Yeah, some. He ate something too big. It's stuck in his mouth. He can't get it out. He's gonna die. See what happens when you get too greedy? It's not good for you. I was getting ready to cast over there, but he's choking. He's got like a big old bluegill stuck in his mouth or something. That's funny. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, let's see if he floats up. Well, he'd be, he'll be food for something. Well, unfortunately last night I did not catch any catfish, specifically flathead. It turns out I think there's a thermocline in my live bluegill or dead bluegill the entire time. I should have known better. They weren't wiggling the line. Anyhow, I think there's a thermocline. It could could have it killed the bluegill any way you look at it. They were dead the whole time. And uh, I'm probably going to have to go back out there. The thermocline could have low oxygen down there and uh, cold water. The shot could have killed the bluegill. Anyhow, it should have been like Dave. Right? What do you think, Dave? Should have used a float to get right above the thermocline. Look, see? Dave is using a float and he caught fish there. Look at that. He has a floating fish. Yep. Anyhow, thanks for liking, watching, subscribing. I'll be back out there with the float above the thermocline. Tom Audi. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.
sound right, boy. 